benefits of catching fish, especially on a tuna trip, it really doesn't matter if you're calico bass fishing or rock fishing, but really, I guess on a tuna trip, real critical, you have a good lively bait. So you want to spend a little bit of time here at the bait receiver. Now this is the bait tank, and this is um, where we get our bait, the bait wells. So you don't want to be reaching in here, the crew will get mad. But when you look at the bait here, you know, in this particular bait well, there isn't a lot of good baits. There's maybe one or two good baits. And the way you can tell if they're a good bait or not is how they're swimming. They're doing figure eights and they don't have any red marks on them. Here you see all these baits that are laying on their side. This one's dead. These ones are barely moving. You don't want a bait like that. You want one that's all green or hopefully has a little slimy back on them. So let's look through here and see all these ones with the red. This one, you know, that's terrible. You don't want to fish that. Just throw that in the water. So let's find a good bait here. And there's one right there. Swimming really good, doesn't have any red marks on them. Looks really nice, and that's the bait I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna slightly, just slide my hand underneath it, pick it up, pin it on. And now I just walk to the rail and go ahead and fish.